So I'm in a mature longleaf pine forest. And at one time, this forest was all logged, as was much of almost all of Florida, longleaf pines. Uh, but it's been uh, replanted. And after many, many, many years, it's a very beautiful forest now. Now, as I'm walking in this forest, I'm noticing some trees with white bands around them. These bands on these trees have an animal living in them. And we're gonna take a look and see what actually lives in these pine trees with the white bands on them. So today I'm gonna to meet up with the FWC and we're gonna check out these trees with the white bands and monitor and study the really cool animal that lives up in these trees. So let's uh, get started and I think it's gonna be really interesting. So it just came there and fed. Yeah, but she's up, she hasn't seen us yet. The other one saw us, she was like, what are you? Yellow, orange, black? So the yellow, orange, black is the uh, bands. Yellow, orange, black. Bands no. on them. No, 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 is it? Oh, God. They keep track of them by the color of the band on their legs. So the baby's calling, wants to eat. Yeah. Oh. Oh. There you go. Yeah. So we're putting the camera up into the cavity to observe the chicks. Poor chick. And you say they're anywhere from 20 to 40 feet up, correct? And does that pole go 40 feet? Okay, here's the baby. Why is there only one? I see fans. It might be underneath and you can't see it. There's one there? Yeah, see that's his leg and his head's to the lower right and the bands are on his leg there. Oh, wow. Well. Because we already, but I cannot see. Isn't that strange? You can see all the band colors. Yeah, and I almost saw the whole top of his head. You can hear the babies in there.
So you're using just a noose? Oh, okay. How do you see them in there? They just kind of, you feel for them and then when you got one, wow. That's cool. Seven and an old eight. Yeah. Seven and a half, eight and a half. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to your Azure Silver Lab. Azure on the left. It's like you're messing with little neonate. And that was that chick I was looking for the other day with you. I did finally find it. So what are you doing with that one? So, I'll show you how. These little plastic ones, you spread them. And we spread the band out so you can fit it over their leg. So you can spread it out like that. Oh, okay. And then you slide it down on their leg. Oh, that's different than what? And then you yeah, they're close too it. Tight yeah, because the, uh, the silver one is a, the metal or aluminum band. Yeah. And so you have to use the pliers to close that. So how do you guys come up with the color coding sequence or? It's just a grid with, you know, all the combos, available combos and just. And There's just... different ways to do it, but we use a, I guess you can call it a matrix, but a grid. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you guys can see them. In the, <laughs> Far in away. the spotting scope, yes. yeah. It's pretty. Sometimes it's hard putting in the light. Right. It's always three and, and then two bands. And how do you keep the colors? You have so many out here that yeah. how do you have enough colors? There's a lot of combinations, especially with that. How's the combination? You know, you have left and right. Oh, so you oh have my to look gosh. At, <laughs> she just you have to jumped. look at left and right, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it matters left and right. Yeah. Man. Oh my god. I'm like this should be here for, you know, ten minutes. Probably the You've been climbing trees for a long time. It's been a while. It hasn't been 20 years yet, it's only been 18, I guess. That part. Putting the chicks back in the, uh, in the nest. Go back in. Yeah. 